What's going on, Packers fans? Aaron Nagler here with your training camp update for day six, second day with pads. Ray Nitschke Field was popping today. Full pads on display. Uh, just a couple of observations uh, from practice and then the locker room afterwards. Got to talk to a few of the guys, including Jordan Love, uh, about the proceedings today. Uh, first up, as you guys know, I am all in on the lines. I saw a lot of people tweeting about the one-on-ones between the wide receivers and the defensive backs. Oohs and ahs and big plays, and I love it. I'm very excited. But you guys know how I roll. Got to watch those lines. Got to see how the offensive line is holding up, how the defensive line is wrecking shop, which it most certainly did at times today. Um, I'm just going to leave this. I'll be talking about it on Packers Daily as well. But Devontae Wyatt, look out. You talk about a kid who seems to be taking that proverbial next step, that second-year jump. So far through two days with pads on, he is shown flashes that would suggest he's ready to wreck shop the, this year in this league. I, I'm excited about this kid. Um, in the one-on-ones in particular, um, he laid waste to a couple of people in front of him. Uh, exciting times. Uh, to the point where, this is true, I had a Packers PR staff member, uh, a Packers scout, and John Kuhn all come up to me after one-on-ones and say, did you see Devontae Wyatt? Like, yeah, it was hard to miss. It was very exciting stuff from the second-year player. Um, sp- speaking of one-on-ones, Sean Ryan acquitted uh, himself quite well against the rookie uh, defensive tackle, Wooden. Uh, two really clean reps, really good stuff, and he looked pretty decent, I would say, during the team stuff that I saw him participating in. Really would be something if they could get something out of him. Um, only add to that depth along the offensive line, clearly vying for a spot not only on the depth chart, but try and back up some of that stuff along the interior. Uh, like I said, really clean stuff in one-on-ones today. Um, Yash Nyman was in at right tackle uh, to start the proceedings uh, with the team stuff. And in one-on-ones, uh, he locked down Lucas Van Ness, although I will say Van Ness had a really impressive bull rush on the second rep. That's one of those where... You know, Yash had done his job as far as staying in front of his man, but uh, the bull rush by Van Ness was truly impressive. And definitely, if there had been a pocket and a quarterback back there, the quarterback would have felt that and probably had would have had to move off his spot, say, if it was a third down or whatever. Um, uh, we got to see some kicking again today. And, whoo, baby, uh, not ready to panic yet. But Carlson did miss his first kick of the day, which caused a lot of side eyes on the sideline. And then... Uh, uh, proceeded to make his next two, and then he had another session a little bit later uh, where he went two for three again, so he missed two of his kicks today. Um, uh, I will say he nailed a 52-yarder uh, after a bad snap, and it was high, and it got down just in time, and he nailed it uh, from 52. So that was pretty impressive, especially coming after a few misses and for him to kind of gather himself and hit that. was That was pretty impressive. Um, speaking of impressive, um, Zach Tom. We've talked about it a lot, and I think somebody asked about this very thing on Packers Daily yesterday, and here we go. Zach Tom getting reps not only in drill work at the center position with Jordan Love, but reps with the first team in red zone work. Uh, That's not a drill. That's real team stuff where he was playing center with the first unit, which meant Yash was at right tackle and Bakhtiari was back, and he was at left tackle. Uh, Zach Tom finally getting a chance and hopefully, you know, making a little noise there and pushing Josh Myers because I'm telling you people, like I, you guys know if you've watched this channel for any length of time, I really like the idea of Zach playing center. I think that's his best position. And um, it looks like they're going to try and give him a real look there. He seemed to acquit himself quite well today. Uh, hopefully we'll see more of that as time goes on. Um, speaking of red zone, uh, Love had what I think was kind of the play of his day uh, in the red zone work where he got a little bit off schedule. I I asked him about it, actually, in the the locker room, and he said, yeah, it was a bit off schedule, but it was still within the structure of the play. Came backside to Luke Musgrave, who had done a really good job of kind of floating into space in the end zone behind what looked like a zone from the defense, and Jordan lofted it, and it just – he said that Quay Walker got a fingertip on it. I wasn't so sure. I didn't see that live, but – um, you know, Musgrave did a good job of concentrating and pulled it in for a touchdown. But it was a beautiful play, like off schedule, that kind of thing where, and Jordan mentioned this, like lots of times you get down there, red zone, things are constricted, things happen, bang, bang. A lot of times they're, they're, the way it's designed doesn't quite happen and you have to make something off schedule. And that kind of happened today. And it was really, 
really promising to see from Jordan as far as not getting flustered, knowing where people are going to be and being able to find someone for, for a score. Um, uh, I'm just a, a football nerd, as you guys know, so I was very excited to see uh, a eye formation featuring a fullback, not a tight end, not a move guy, an actual fullback. That's right, Henry Pearson lined up. Um, as the up back, the full back in an I formation at one point, I was very giddy. And then it was a play action pass. So they didn't even really utilize him. He kind of, you know, did that thing where they go through the, uh, the hole on the play action and then drift out to the flat. And he wasn't thrown to, of course. And that was it, you know, but they're installing stuff. So it's good to know that's in their package. It's good to know that the full back is still alive and breathing here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. <laughs> I was very excited about it. I'm um, talking about excitement. A.J. Dillon, we talked about him yesterday, putting the ball on the ground. Clearly, I got to think he's trying to take out his frustrations a little bit here. He ran through Quay Walker. I'm talking old school, put his pads down and just ran over the man. And I kind of joked with A.J. in the locker room. I'm like, what happened to taking care of your teammates? You know, as they always talk about when the pads come on, got to make sure you're not going full bore. But man, Quay Walker got the worst of it. And A.J. absolutely demolished him. It was, it was a great rep for the running back. No question about it. It was a lot of fun to see. Uh, speaking of fun, Christian Watson pumping up the fans. The, I love camp for this kind of stuff. He was They're doing drill work. They're setting up for a drill down on the end of the Radnitschke field where by the rush center. And he's running around the music playing. He's running around. He's looking at the fans. He starts pumping them up like that. Gives them a you know, hand to the ear. People start cheering. And then he did his patented backflip and people went nuts. It was great. Just great. It's just a great vibe at Packers camp. And just great stuff. Um, you know, I, I will circle back a little bit here to the offensive line real quick. I just want to let people know. I know I talked about Zach Tom playing at center. He was still rotating in at tackle uh, throughout the proceedings today. And that battle between him and Yash at right tackle is not over by any stretch of the imagination. Yash was the starter there today. I suspect on Thursday when they're back out there, we'll probably see Zach out there again. So don't think that this means that they're, they pulled him from that because that is, that is ongoing. A um, couple of things to note on the injury front, Josiah DeGuara and David Bakhtiari both dropped out of practice today. No indication that either one of those are um, serious or long-term or what have you, but we'll probably hopefully get more information, maybe not tomorrow, but by Thursday morning when we talk to Matt next. Um, with Bakhtiari, it definitely looked like something related to his arm or his elbow or something. So I wouldn't have too much concern there. Uh, we've seen him go bionic before with uh, sleeves and <laughs> all sorts of contrapments. Uh, the good thing is, is it wasn't his knee. It wasn't his leg. Because I know uh, the moment that that happened, my, the Twitter, my Twitter just kind of exploded with questions about that. So um, no worries. It's not his leg and it's not his knee. Um, finally, uh, Love to see it. I love that Matt got asked about the the new tradition, so to speak, here at Packers Camp, where they have the competitive period at the end of uh, at the end of practice, and then whoever loses has to do whatever is agreed upon before. Which today was up downs. Got ten up downs from the offense because they lost again. And I understand people in my mentions and in the comment sections talking about the offense and worrying about them in two minute because they have not been very successful. They had another brutal day today against the ones and. I can't be surprised by any of this. I think the defense, reading and reacting early in camp, offense is so young across the skill positions. Jordan Love, first-year starter, trying to make it happen. Like you guys, I'm sure, all saw the video of him throwing a beautiful pass to Jaden Reed yesterday on a fourth down that got dropped. Um, nothing that heroic today, but it was another forgettable performance in two-minute drill. Um, but the work in red zone is good. The work between the 20s is good. Two minute will come for the offense. They are just very young, and they are facing a defense, which, by the way, has a lot of really smart, talented veteran players who know what they're doing, especially in the secondary. So it's nothing, for my money, it's nothing to worry about. You, your mileage may vary. I know people love to worry. So, uh, But, yes, the offense, once again, having to do <laughs> up-downs at the end of practice today. Um, that'll be it for today as far as my camp notes go. Uh, I'll have more, obviously, on Packers Daily when I'm live here, 5 o'clock Central. I uh, hope you can join me there. But otherwise, make sure you hit like, hit subscribe, and then tell your friends and tell your family, Cheesehead TV. We are devoted to Green Bay Packers fans worldwide.